Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Martin Calderon. I am a field representative for Assembly Member Lisa Calderon. I'd like to give you guys all a warm welcome to this year's Earned Income Tax webinar in partnership with Golden State Opportunity. Before we get started, if you need Spanish translation, please click on the link at the bottom of your screen that says interpretation. This presentation will then be translated to Spanish in its entirety. Buenas tardes a todos. Gracias por acompañarnos. Mi nombre es Martín Calderón. Soy representante de la asambleísta Lisa Calderón. Me gustaría darles a todos una cálida bienvenida al seminario sobre impuestos en asociación con Golden State Opportunity. Antes de comenzar, si necesitan traducción al español, haga clic en el enlace en la parte de abajo de su pantalla que dice interpretación y esta presentación será traducida al español en su totalidad. Before we get started, I would like to remind all the attendees that this webinar is being recorded. Throughout the presentation, if questions come up, please feel free to type them in our chat box and we will get to as many as we can during our Q&A portion at the end of the program. Let's get started with the program. It is a pleasure to introduce Assembly Member Lisa Calderon to kick off this evening's event. Thank you, Martin. And Good evening, everyone, and thank you for taking time to join us for today's California Earned Income Tax Webinar. Um, you know, it's really important for me uh, to bring resources back to my constituents, and I just thought that this would be something very valuable. Um, you know, this resource um, every year is so helpful. It, uh, there's millions of dollars in funds that go unclaimed by families who could greatly benefit from the boost in income. So that's why we're doing this tonight. Cal EITC is designed to put this money back in the pockets of working families and individuals. And as we come out of the pandemic and the economic burden it's placed on our state, uh, Building Back Better continues to be at the forefront uh, of our minds in the legislature. And that's why I'm so excited that the pro proposed state budget maintains the earned income tax credit expansion. It creates the young child tax credit for our families and also supports individual taxpayer identification number ITN filers. And these actions help stimulate our economy in California by providing disposable income for working families and also allows us to spend our tax savings back into our own local communities. As we continue to work our work to support our communities with you in mind, please take advantage of today's resources and ask the questions you need answered. And I'd like to thank my partner, Golden State Opportunity for their tireless efforts to teach us how to take advantage of this tax credit. I'd now like to introduce our speaker, Amy Everett, the president of Golden State Opportunity, who will tell us a little bit about herself and lead us in a presentation on how you can claim your credit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Assembly Member um, Lisa Calderon. It's, been, it's a real honor to do this uh, seminar with you and on behalf of your constituents. There is so much money on the table. Um, and it's so simple to claim it. And that's what I'm going to sort of talk about today. Ruben, if you could bring up the presentation, that would be great. Um, and I've been the leader of Golden State Opportunity for two years. I'm a lifelong Californian. And I am, uh, and funny story, I am the daughter of two accountants. So it's ironic that I'm doing this work now. Um, but here, I'm going to spend the next few minutes just talking with you quickly about how you can claim your credits. All right. Uh, so I've talked about GSO. We are a statewide organization dedicated to ending poverty by providing all Californians with the tools to build financial security so you can thrive. And a big piece of that is the California Earned Income Tax Credit. Today, you will learn more about who qualifies for the Cal EITC, the EITC, the federal one, and other tax credits how to estimate your own credits, how to claim these credits, and where to find help filing your taxes and getting your taxes done for free. So what is a tax credit and how does it work? A tax credit is a reduction in the amount of taxes you may owe, and some credits are refundable. So when you owe $0 in taxes, these credits are your refund, which means you get a uh, check back from the IRS or from the state. 
and they put more money back in your wallet. Um, research has found that when families are getting the EITC, babies um, are healthier, they have higher newborn weights, and the infant mortality rates decrease. Kids stay in school longer and do better on tests. College is an option with kids more likely to go to college and families being able to help pay for it. So there's an, a, a huge social determinant of health associated with these tax credits. Okay. Um, and there are two that I'm gonna talk about today. One is a Cal EITC, the California Earned Income Tax Credit and a federal EITC. If you are low, low income and you work, you may qualify for one or both of these. And these credits will give you a refund or they'll reduce the taxes that you owe. So who qualifies for the EITC? The federal EITC is a refundable tax credit available to families and individuals. The requirements are that um, you have qualifying children, have a social security number, you've lived in the US for more than half of the tax year, you're a US citizen or a resident all year, um, you're 19 or older or over 18 with children, and you have an earned income with yearly limits. One thing to really note is that you do not qualify for the EITC if your filing status is married and filing separately. Um, so let's talk about what kinds of income or earned income for the EITC purposes. Wages, salary, or tips where federal income taxes are withheld on your W-2 form, box number one. Um, it's income from a job where your employee didn't withhold taxes, such as a gig economy job, like driving a car, um, doing uh, deliveries, running errands or doing tasks, selling goods online, providing creative or professional services, or providing other temporary on-demand or freelance work. Those are all different types of earned income. Money made from self-employment also qualifies um, if you own or operate a business or a farm, if you're a minister or a member of a religious order, or a statutory employee and have income. Uh, benefits from a union strike, certain disability benefits you got before you were the minimum retirement age, non-taxable combat pay. Um, and now let me talk about what does not qualify as earned income. If pay you got for work when you were an inmate or in a penal institution, interest and dividends, pensions or annuities, social security, unemployment benefits, alimony and child support. None of those qualify as earned income. Um, so what is the maximum earned income tax credit for the 2021 tax year? Um, it's about $6,700 with three or more qualifying children. Uh, 50, about $6,000 with two qualifying children and on. So the number of children you have determines how big um, the refund or the credit might be. And this year there was a much larger credit for workers who don't have kids than in previous years. We're excited for that. It's a big jump. Um, now who qualifies for the California Earned Income Tax Credit? This is actually a lot easier. The California Earned Income Tax Credit is also a refundable tax credit available to families and individuals. And the qualifiers are if you made less than $30,000 a year, regardless of how many dependents or kids you have, you've lived in California for more than half the tax year, and you're over 18. So much simpler, um, but the federal one is a little bit bigger. Um, so the maximum Cali ITC, um, you can see the number of kids involved um, does indicate how much you might be eligible for, but it's up to you know just over three thousand dollars if you have three or more kids. Um, and I think I'm going to talk about the young child tax credit next. Um, and this is a complement to the Cal EITC. It's the young child tax credit, and it can provide you more for what matters most. Um, and it is an additional tax credit up to a thousand dollars if you have qualifying children and the children who are under six. Um, now, don't be confused because that, that's the California Young Child Tax Credit, and you may have already heard about the Federal Child Tax Credit. Because the American Rescue Plan, families can receive more with the Child Tax Credit this year. If you receive the monthly payment, you are likely to have another $1,800, $1,800 to claim at tax time. So for now, we don't know if the monthly payments will begin again, but if you file your taxes this year and you have children under 18, 
uh, you will be able to get um, the child tax credit for each child that you have. Um, so here is a really important distinction and this only really qualifies in California. ITIN holders only qual qualify for the Cal EITC and the California Young Child Tax Credit, but not the federal EITC. If a child, if your child has a social security number, you can still get the child tax credit if you, the filer, have an ITIN. So that's an important distinction about how to get more money to help you with the cost of raising kids. The Assemblywoman and I were just chatting beforehand about how, you know, kids are great, but they, they're, they, they're, a, they're a lot. And this is one way to help you be the, the parent and provide everything that you need for them. Um, so new for the 2021 federal tax year, um, in previous years, single filers received closer to only about $500. And this increase that we have this year is only available when filing your taxes for 2021. Um, but you could receive up to $1,500. So it is definitely worth it. If you've never filed before, now is the time to file if you don't have kids um, because there's more money on the table for you. Okay, so how do you claim all these credits, right? There's all this money that's waiting for you. You qualify. And there's only one golden rule here, and that is you have to file your claim, you have to file your taxes to claim your credits, including any stimulus payments that you might still be due from the state or the federal. Now let's walk through the website together. There's a website available in English and Spanish, and it will be available in Chinese as well. And then there's also materials in 10 additional languages. If you go to the caliitcforme.org website, it'll walk you through how to figure out how much you could, could earn and um, how to file your taxes. So let's estimate your credits. This should be, um, so um, Ruben, I'm gonna ask you to run this for me. Let's enter an income of $28,000 a year and select that I'm married filing jointly and I have one child. And there's, you can always hover over the orange question mark if you have other questions. This is just a, a blank picture. So oh, people okay, would ask, yeah. I thought we were even going live. But this is what it will look like if you go to kellyitcforme.org, you'll see the, um, and you go to the calculator, you can input your own information and you'll see what it is. And then it will calculate it for you. Um, so it makes it a lot easier um, to, to visit kellyitcforme.org. On average, um, just to know, you can also file your taxes online with a certified tax preparer, somebody who has been trained by the IRS. On average, the price to file a 1040 is $300. And prices, like everything else, are going up. Nationally, tax filing fees have increased by $26,000. But there are different types of help available to get your taxes done for free. And I'm going to walk you through some of them. One is uh, it's called getyourrefund.org. And this is where you're going to have, you can upload all of your information confidentially and securely, and it will go to a tax certified tax preparer. They will prepare all of your taxes. They will reach back out to you for you to review it and sign it, and then they will electronically file for you. Um, so this is great for folks who um, are really comfortable using a computer. It's also really simple. So if you're not, it's still a great option to just get your taxes done without having to worry about anything. Um, the other way to get your taxes done um, is to do it online in a way with folks who can ask you quite where you can ask questions. Um, if you need to get help with your taxes, you'll be asked a few questions and upload your documents securely. Um, or this might, I think I'm still on your get your refund. Um, but your, the return will be reviewed as well. That's the one thing I forgot about the other one. Um, so uh, you can also file for free at free file. So if you go there, there'll be a whole bunch of different options for you to figure out which one is the best one for you to do. Okay. Um, and if you want the latest news and support, uh, our websites are updated with the most current information and a great source for accurate information. Our email updates keep you in the loop and give you an opportunity to speak directly to policymakers. It'll also 
if you join our email list, you'll also get more updates on other um, ways to save money or access resources and benefits that are right in your neighborhood. Um, so I would encourage everybody to go to caliitcforme.org, not only to learn about how to how much you could get back on your on your tax filing, but how to get it prepared for free and what other resources are available to you. So let me stop here and just open it up to any other questions that you may have. We haven't had any questions come in, but we do have some questions that we've seen in other folks asking in our space. And then one of them would be, is there help available in person? Yeah, great question. Um, and it is something we didn't do. On the website, there are also links to finding how to get help doing your taxes in person. There are um, VITA sites, volunteer, um, volunteer, what is it called? Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. These are the folks who are IRS certified and trained. And um, they are located in community-based organizations. They are located in libraries. Um, if you go to our website, you can look at where one is near you. But you can bring all of your materials to that site and make an appointment or sometimes they'll drop by and get your taxes done right then and there. Thanks, Amy. Another question that we get asked a lot is, is there help in Spanish or other languages? Of course there is. So on our website, as I said, um, there, are two, there, there will be three full websites, right? Live right now are one in English and one in Spanish. Um, also, a lot of these other organizations offer multilingual assistance. Um, so yes, there are multiple ways um, in different languages to access this information. And on the EITC, on the CaliITC for me.org website, when you go to the resources, all of our materials and information are actually translated into 13 different languages. Um, so there's a, a real good chance that if you speak a different language that we have information for you in language. Another question um, would be how, why should people file if they don't have to file? Great question, because who would want to do that? I know I wouldn't want to do that. Um, but the answer is because so much money is at stake for you. Because um, if you don't earn enough to have to file your taxes, then you definitely earn enough to qualify for these tax credits. And they can go up to like $8,000 this year, depending on right your income and the number of dependents you have. And here's another fun fact. If you file your taxes this year for the first time and you qualify, you can also do your taxes for the last three years and get all the tax credits that you missed out on for those past few years all at once. And that can equal, you know, thousands of dollars. And we know that people right now, you need money for the things to afford life's basic needs. And so there's a lot of money on the table. So even if you don't have to file your taxes, or if you know somebody who doesn't have to, this would be a great year to start filing your taxes because there's so much money available to put right back in your pocket You've literally already earned this money. It's money that came out of paychecks, and now it's an opportunity to get it back. It's a great point. Um, I think the other question that we see a lot and gets asked of us is, what do I need to do to get the actual refund? What information do I need to take with me? Um, do I take my bank account? Can I take my debit card? Is that enough? Uh, no. <laughs> um, thank you, Sabrina. Um, you know, if you go to the CaliITC for me.org, we have the list of everything that you actually do need to bring. Um, it is a range of material things. A lot of it you'll be getting in the mail or is available to you electronically from your employer, but your W-2, proof of residence, I think it's proof of residency, uh, information about your children and your dependents to prove that they're dependents. Um, you definitely want to sign up to make sure that you get an automatic debit so you can, um, or automatic deposit so that you can um, get your refund faster when it's direct deposit. Um, but we have an entire list of what you need to do in order to bring, in order to get your taxes done for free. And it's different for W-2 and self-employed, et cetera. So I would say go to the list, look it up and make sure you have everything. And how long does it take to get my refund? Well, I don't know. This year will be an interesting year. I think that if I know that if you do it, 
by check, it's going to take longer. Um, if you have automatic deposit, it will be faster. Um, and I think uh, it's probably, if automatic deposit, it's probably within a few weeks, whereas I think that if you're waiting for a check, it's gonna be like a month or longer. Thanks for highlighting that, Amy. I know folks wanna get their money as quickly as possible. Those are the questions that we've had asked often. I don't know if there's anything else in the chat that folks wanna raise. Nope, we don't have other questions coming in. Um, Martin, I don't know if you want to say some closing words, but I, you know, I'll just say thank you to you and to the Assemblywoman for um, joining us on this uh, tax credit info session. I hope people are able to view it and watch it. Um, there's a lot of um, really important ways to put money back in your pockets, especially right now. Absolutely agree with you. You know, thank you so much for joining us. I really hope this webinar was helpful, educative, and timely. I mean, at this time, we would like to thank you, our presenter, Amy Everett, and our partners at GSO for your continued partnership. It means a lot to us that we are able to bring, like the assembly member herself said, that we are able to bring this back to our communities. We would like to thank you all as well for joining us. Please reach out if you have any additional additional questions. We will be sending everyone a follow-up survey that will include how to get in touch with us. Again, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you guys all have a great evening. Thank you.